Welcome to another video and today we'll be showing you a PCB conformal coating which we've coated a Teensy 4.1 board with as you can see here and we've applied it a number of times to get quite a thick layer. This allows you to extend the life of your Arduino projects and of course protect them from various things from humidity and water to other substances. So we've simply got a tub and our Teensy board and of course you've got to make all of the connections before you coat it so we're just going to have the USB lead on this one and then we're going to pour in our conformal coating. You can also of course use clear nail polish as a cheap replacement for this and it's very convenient and easy to obtain of course. So we've submerged our board in the coating and as you can see there's small air bubbles rising out of any gaps in the components and we've repeated this process a number of times to get a nice thick layer hopefully on the entire board and every contact and we've left it to dry in between to make sure that everything's nicely sealed as it should be. So we've given it a bit of a shake just to agitate a bit more of the air out of it and then we simply have to take it out and then drain it and leave it to dry and then repeat this process. So there we go. As you can see we've got a bit dripping off so we'll let the excess come off and then we'll leave that to dry for 12 hours and then repeat the process. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy this video. And don't forget to check out the other videos on our channels related to Arduino and electronics. So here's our board finished with its coatings on. And we're going to now submerge it in water. As you can see here, it's fully submerged. And everything's still working. The LED's blinking, showing that it's doing some prime number calculations. The same as in our video in the top right about the Teensy overclocking, as that's what it's actually running at the moment and we'll do another short update on that soon and everything's still fine so this is a great way of protecting your projects and potentially your boards depending on where you're deploying them and the excess heat could also be used to assist the project you're in so for example with home brewing this is very useful as a bit of extra heat's generated as you can see here, we've obviously missed a contact somewhere as we've got bubbles developing on the ground pins, which is a sign that electrolysis is happening. So there is current flowing through the water from the board somewhere. So we have definitely missed something, but the board is still working as expected. So there you go. A very simple way using clear nail polish or a professional conformal coating to protect your projects and your boards from all sorts of corrosion. 